Assassin's Creed Revelations is the last installment about uh, Ezio stories in single player wise and multiplayer wise it's really we try to expand on the first copy we've delivered of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood so we really try to improve all the stuff that weren't that good and also uh, bringing back a lot of new content. So we fixed the, the two, two, two major things we had to fix from Brotherhood. So we are fixing the matchmaking. Now the matchmaking is better than ever. It's very quick. Also, we took a step further by having layered menus. So people never wait. In fact, they're never in front of a loading screen and they can always access all the features that they want through the layered menus. Also, we are coming with, uh, we have a brand new storyline now on the multiplayer. We'll be progressing in the Abstergo hierarchy. Uh, also, we have a lot of new contents, new maps, new modes, new characters, new abilities, perks, tricks, a uh, range of um, customizable uh, things. So now you can customize all the parts of your character, you can customize your Templar profile. And last but not least, we have a big new social feature where you can dare your friends asynchronously. Core gameplay-wise on the multiplayer, Really, the community get the fact that there are assassins and there are preys, and the assassins are more powered than, than the preys, but they didn't feel the balance right, so we really improved on this, this area. Now the prey, the prey can really defend themselves, the stunts are easier to perform, also we give much more tools for them to defend themselves, and last but not least we have what we call the honorable death. So if the prey press the button at the same time than the assassin, it performs an, an honorable death. Both uh, players get the same amount of points, and the uh, prey get kills, and the uh, assassins get uh, get hurt. So then he's easy to kill. The enemy's artifact is back at their base. You stole the enemy's artifact. So we're showcasing today the three prior bomb. It's coming from the single player where you can craft all of your, all your bombs. So now we took that, and we have it. It acts a bit like a mine. So you're throwing it on the ground, it takes a little time to activate and then if somebody comes on it, it explodes, then you can stun or kill, kill him easily. So it's, it's one of the favorites used in, on Artifact Assault or on Manant. We have also uh, one ability that I really like, it's the closure. So when you use it, you activate all the chase breakers around you. So it's a very cool way to trap your, uh, your prey who is running away or if you want to try to take the lift, you just use it before him and then you get him and you kill him. Assassin's Creed multiplayer is really based about the approach. It's not the execution that matters, but the approach. If you did a good approach, you will do a better scoring and you, you, you will finish first. And all those tools, all the abilities are used really to, to drag people to you, you know, to stop them, then to being able to kill them, or with the throwing knife, you can, uh, you can uh, slow them and then catch them. So it's really a range of tools that make your life easier. And those tools are also very helpful to let you play the way you want. So if you have a guy running on the rooftops and you don't want to run on the, on the rooftops to catch him, you can use the frying knife that, that are more powerful now uh, to catch him and then to get him. So Assassin's Creed Revelations will be released the 15th November on PS3 and it's what you see.